Hello, I'm going to show you an easy one here. Kind of like making a nameplate. You can uh, probably make some money with this one. Uh, it's gonna, it's easy, fast and easy. Let's hope to see how we can do. Okay, let's go with our text. And I'm just taking this font right here because this seems to work pretty good for the nameplate. And I'm just gonna use it, picking the curves, and stuff to okay. And I'll just drop it in there. Now I want to clean up the curve a little bit, so let me just highlight this off, and we'll trim away these things right here and we might have some overlap somewhere we'll inspect our curve okay and let me hit the join button let me turn on the points now and I just want to inspect these sometimes Now we're going to do it that way. Should be okay. Sometimes when we uh, do it, you'll have overlapping points. Let me try this name one more time here. Let me make it bold. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's just try the bold one. We'll work with this bold one. And we'll do that all over again. We'll take our trim. We'll trim these areas out. It's good practice anyway. Let's go for our join. And put our points on. See if we've got any. Sometimes if you want to clean up these curves, you can just delete them. Points if you need to delete them. This one seems to look okay. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of that. Let's see. A lot of times, these little edges here. Get kind of wonky, see that? We'll get rid of that. And you can do how you want to do. Get the curve the way you like it. And we'll just go with leave that there. So I'm gonna take this, we'll offset it. The curve. Let's go about uh let's go one point five. Let's see how that goes. Oops. Undo. Let's do our offset again. We want to go smooth. Let's undo it again. Let's check it down to one. Enter. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Now we've got our name there. We've got this here. Let's take our back plate. And we'll extrude it. Oops. Whatever you want. Let's just say about one millimeter. Then we'll take our name. Your name. Someone's name. And ortho on. We'll pick it up a little bit. And we'll extrude this one. Again, whatever you want to do your plate now if you just want to add some jump rings wherever you want attach it and we'll just pipe that and pop it like a point five let's see how that goes too much. A little point. We can do that. Let me offset that just a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. There, cut that. 
Now we'll pipe this. There. And we can delete that. Let's see here. Where we're at. We'll take this up a little bit. Yeah, we'll put one over here. Let's see where we're at there. There you go. So, if you want, just for sake of discussion here, I'm going to just change the color so we can see. I'm not going to render it out or anything, but let's just say that you pick a gold for the background. And you have the white, and these are gold. And there you have it right there. There's your nameplate. Right there. There's other things you can do. Let's just see if we want to try this. Let's see. Let's see if I can grab this real quick. There's our curve. I'm going to offset it. Let's just go. Okay, we'll go 0.75. Let's see what we got. All right, there our curve there. Curve there. Let's see. I'm just doing this by eyeball. Okay. So this way, if you wanted to make a little bit of a, uh, let's see, a little bit of a two dimension there, you could then just make some circles. Let's just say. Up like this, this is where that is, and you can extrude it. You can just copy those around wherever you want to copy them to, and you can build your I'm not going to do the whole thing. Oh, let's just see, maybe I will. And there you have it. I put some supports in there. And we've got that back. So, and I lowered down my jump rings there to attach the chain. So, those are just something you could play with if you'd like to make your own name. Hope you had fun. Always have fun.